Hi everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at the texture palette that I have created a uh, 3D print file for that by the way is free to download. The link will be down in the description to the Thingiverse. So there at the beginning you saw it in white and then primed it black like, like with the same primer that I would use on any miniatures or anything before I slap chop them. And now I'm getting out some of my uh, pewter gray here. And we're going to basically slap chop a few miniatures, test out the dry palette. Right, right here. Uh, I'm already really enjoying this thing. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually using it earlier today on some other models. And there was one time in particular that I started dry brushing the, the dry palette. And I was like, wow, I did not realize how much paint was on this brush. I'm really glad I have this because before I would have just hit it on a towel a little bit and been like, yeah, that probably looks good. And sometimes you take that brush into the model and it's way heavier than you want it to be. Uh, as a precaution, I try to always start with an area that like is going to be a bigger, flatter surface. Like with this guy, I probably started like face or hood or something. Uh because like I know those areas I'm gonna want lots of gray and then also white when we get there too. Yeah, absolutely. So how many different textures did you drop onto the palette? Yeah, so we have a stone wall texture. There's a wooden plank texture. There's like a wooden log texture. There's a bush texture. There's like a metal diamond plating kind of texture and then there's like a metal piece of machinery sort of texture so i kind of threw a little bit of everything in here yeah yeah just um so watching now it, it looks great because you, you have your little corner there that you can drop in your paint and then just kind of dry brush off of as you're doing um and i think too when you look at that like wooden portion you can see kind of where you blended it and you can get like a feel of hey does this look correct as dry brushing even yeah so once again we see here that i put entirely too much white on my brush because i just painted the whole palette with it <laughs> yep and then yep starting with the face because i know that that's going to get lots of white when i slap chop anytime i do a, a skin tone after the white it usually gets like a pale flush dry mm -hmm. brush also um, so I, I pretty much always start with those areas cause I know that I can accidentally have too much white paint there and, uh, still be okay. But yeah, it's, um, I'm, I'm was, I've heard really good things about them. So I knew that I would probably like it a lot. Um, if you go to the thingy verse, there's also a blank where you can glue in all of your own bits which was what I made originally. And then I thought, hey, why don't you slice up a bunch of textures and throw them in the palette and print the whole thing as one whole thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've I've mostly seen texture palettes or heard of them. Um, and they're more like cork board almost. Mm -hmm. Not a actual thing where it's like, oh, I, I printed this as realistic textures that I could be painting. Um and then kind of going from that, because even to um, like this one and even the other one, you know, you could glue in whatever you want. If you're painting maybe a bunch of shields and you're like, oh, I have a couple extra. Well, I'll drop two on prime them. And then as I go, I'll just kind of check my work, you know, sure. So Easy to get it, get it off the brush, make sure the colors look right before you actually go to the model. Yep. And then so speaking of the models, uh, quick shout out here. So. You might be wondering where these are from. Uh, the first, the figure you've seen on screen thus far is Clovis. They are from the Die Inspired. Uh, it's a D and D show here on YouTube. They took uh, like eighty players, had them play in like four separate campaigns, kind of a survivalist. Like when your character dies, you're just out of the campaign, sort of deal. So run on over there, check out their channel. This here is. Franz, I believe it is. Franz or Franz. Um, you'll see that I start dry brushing with the skin and the hair and all that. And then I'm saving the black duster for last because I want kind of as little paint as possible on him. Mm -hmm. 
but the dry palette, once again, coming and helping me start with the right amount so that by the time I finish the skin and stuff, I didn't have a whole lot on here. And I'm actually going pretty heavy handed with the paint here because there's not much on it, which is really nice for this slap chop technique. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I think it's great. I think it's a great idea. Um, it's pretty simple. And so there's somebody saying, oh, I need to buy one and order one, but you have a 3d printer. Maybe you can just, Hey, jump on and print one out. Um, not really, you know, too difficult to do. Um, uh, how big of a uh, plate did you print this on? Uh, my build plate. It's the, it's the ender three. Um, it's, uh, the pretty standard looking model that everyone seems to start with. Mm -hmm. Um, the templates, I'm not a hundred percent sure off the top of my head, how big they actually are. And I can't find my ruler here. Um, but I think it's like probably like five inches by six inches, but you can always scale it to size when you go to print Absolutely. it. Yeah. Oh yeah. So the size, I think, you know, obviously you're using on kind of pretty basic 3d printer. So you're not printing something massive. Um, it's scalable. It, just it makes it more accessible to customers. Yep. So if you guys run over to Thingiverse and just look up dry palette, um, I'm pretty sure I'm like the top one there. Uh, if you have to look up my name, it's Wildcard Carl, and that would be my Thingiverse profile. And I'm pretty sure you can find the dry palette there. And obviously, I'm going to throw a link down in the video below. So I probably didn't need to tell you all that stuff. Awesome. All right, everyone. Thanks for checking out the video. Bye. Bye. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to do the YouTube things for us. Like, subscribe, drop a comment on the video. There are links below to our Discord channel. You can come in, chat with us, hang out. Uh, if there's anything special you'd like to see, that's a great place to put it. And follow us on Instagram. Uh, until next time, bye.